Coronary artery bypass grafting is a type of surgery that creates a new pathway around a blocked artery, restoring blood flow to the heart muscle. Your heart receives oxygen-rich blood and nutrients from the coronary arteries. Sometimes these arteries become blocked because of coronary artery disease. Partially blocked arteries can cause chest pain during physical activity. If an artery becomes totally blocked, it causes a heart attack. Usually, your healthcare provider will plan this surgery in advance after tests have shown blockages in your heart vessels, other times the surgery is done as an emergency, such as right after a heart attack. Your provider may recommend bypass surgery if you're taking medicine for coronary artery disease and still have symptoms, you may also need this surgery if you have blockages in an area that can't be reached with angioplasty, if you have multivessel disease, or if you have complete or almost complete blockage in one of the main coronary arteries. Your provider will give you instructions about how to prepare for bypass surgery before the procedure. Don't eat or drink anything after midnight the day before your surgery. If you're in women, be sure to tell your healthcare provider. If you're pregnant or might be pregnant, tell your healthcare provider about all of the medicines and supplements you take, and if you have any allergies. Ask your healthcare provider ahead of time if there are any medicines you should stop taking before your surgery. Your provider will explain what happens during the procedure. He or she will also talk with you about any risks or complications that may happen. You'll be asked to sign a consent form that gives your healthcare provider permission to do the procedure. Read the form carefully and ask questions if anything is not clear. What to expect? Before surgery, an anesthesiologist will give you medicine to put you to sleep. You won't feel anything that happens during the surgery. Your heart will be stopped for a short time during the surgery. A heart-lung machine will work as your heart during this time. Your surgeon will make a cut in the skin over your breastbone and then open the breastbone to get to your heart. Then he or she will take a healthy blood vessel from somewhere else in your body. It may be from your arm or leg, or from within your chest itself. The blood vessel is attached above and below the blocked area of your artery, creating a bridge or a bypass so your heart can get enough blood. Some newer types of bypass surgery are different, they use several smaller chest incisions and may not require a heart-lung machine. When the bypass is complete, the incisions will be closed with stitches or staples. You will be moved to a recovery room where your breathing, blood pressure, and heart rhythm will be watched. After the procedure, you will spend a day or two in the intensive care unit. You'll be connected to machines that monitor your heart, blood pressure, and breathing. You may have a number of tubes to help you breathe and urinate. You'll have some soreness for several days, you'll probably need to spend at least five days in the hospital. When you go home, your provider will give you instructions about medicines, exercise, and wound care.